This is uh, Saturday the 22nd. Just shut down for Halloween. Or not Halloween, but uh, this is Night's Haunt. And I'm going to walk you through it. Some of the parts I'm going to use a flashlight. Because it's just too dark for my camera here. So the corn maze. <clears throat> And I had some actors behind this corn here that's all trash and they were shaking it. Uh, emergency exit so all people have to get out and we had some that couldn't make it any further than the corn maze let your chair guy here then we have a a dark maze these are like little fake fur things like a yard sale so when people go through they don't know what the heck they're touching you get this little kind cave area and that's usually shut off during the haunt. Another exit. Good old butcher shop, and it is open. But the butcher is gone for the night. You got the, the menu here. You got the sink with the blood coming out. Got to have the head. And the good old chopping block. And it's got the red light going. Got a. Another outdoor area was the hanging man. He he is a kicker, but his motor's shot. And get another exit. Emergency lights I got set up. And the next room is uh, butcher's pet. Go around the bend. There we go. And here is the spider room. Spider webs, cocoon guy, made it myself. It's painted, but I think it's worth just buying the prop. And I got the spider here. And another little exit for people if they can't make it this far. Got the mirror room, little changing pictures. See the mirror? I got an actor behind there. And they turn the light on and you can see through it. And that's just made of plexiglass, Home Depot, and film, mirror film, in the window section. And here is Spooky Dollar Room. We got this cool lighted sphere, it's multi -change, multi color changing light. And I just have this random dolls hanging. Pretty much the little dead girl would be in the mirror and come out here and get in character. And got this guy at a one of our local haunt stores, Johnny Brock's. And I had one of my little kid actors behind these boxes just jump out. Got a toxic waste barrel. Come around here, and yes, that is a waterfall you hear. That's why I have this fenced off. There's my koi fish pond, my bar, but wasn't serving tonight, and the meat locker. Hanging bodies, good old strobe, fog machine I had to shut off, got too crazy in here. Around here in the entrance here had corners, so I could sit there, kind of hid behind this plastic. And you go through the meat locker. I tell you, you build these haunts, it does pay to make enter signs, because people do get confused of where to go. Had a jail cell. And then you come around here, oh, got to fix that. And you got a dark hallway, and it is fogged up. 
and just had an actor in costume, dark costume in this corner here, just freaking people out. And here is the scary clown room. Got some black lights. Guess what? Target ten dollars. Outdoor black lights. And you have a clown room, gotta have it. And then I also had this guy. He got trash. His head moves. Fog machine sucked up. Goes to the mouth. <laughs> People just kept ramming into him because it was so foggy in here. And anchor right here. Wasn't busy on the busy nights. I'm gonna have an actor here just serving fruit punch people and there is the exit out hope you enjoyed hope you guys have a great Halloween we didn't have the biggest turnout we have maybe 30 40 people but Halloween weekend we're expecting a lot more like last year